我们先来做个听力测试，两个任务：第一，请仔细捕捉下划线处的关键词和词组；第二 ，Let me know if you understand the jokes here. Good. So, Ross, what's your problem? <laughs> Excuse me? Why can't you get a girlfriend your own age? <laughs> it's funny. Um, it's not funny. Hey guys. 今天我们继续学习 Friends 片段，咱一起来把影片里的发音连读、单词句型、文化背景、语调处理技巧以及笑话为什么好笑都透彻的来研究一下。Let's go. So Ross, what's your problem? 那么 Ross， 你有什么问题吗？看来 Mr. Stevens 是一点面子都没打算给 Ross 留。What's your problem? 在 What's 遇到 Your 时，很多美国人会习惯把 What's 词尾的 t 音改变成 ch。这么来发 ，so now it sounds like what's your what's your problem? What's your what's your what's your problem? What's your what's your? Not every American does this though. Some people like to keep it original. What's your problem? What's your what's your what's your problem? What's your what's your? Which means you can do either version. They're both good. Let's try both together. Why not? What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? 之前我们讲过 problem 这个单词，在被说到飞快的时候，会被很多人把中间的 bl 给省略掉，听起来甚至有点像 prom. No prom. No prom. No prom. But that's not what Mr. Stevens did here. Problem. Problem. 我们一起来把这句话练习几遍。要注意 what's your 中间 t 音和 ch 音之间的变化。What's your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? So, Ross, what's your problem? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, 不好意思 ，Ross 的反应可以用一句经典的东北话来形容。傻眼了，咋样？那么东北话是不是贼拉贴切 ？It would. Ross just what 说一半，改口成了 Excuse me. 不好意思。Excuse me. 在这儿用 Excuse me 明显比 what 显得更客气。Hmm. 其实这么说也不全面，至少字面上是这样吧。因为在用词以外啊，语调对语义的影响也是巨大的，有时候甚至更大。我们来看这么几种情况：用基本的降调 ，Excuse me，Excuse me， 这通常表达的就是抱歉、打扰了、不好意思的意思。Excuse me，Excuse me， 用声调 ，Excuse me，Excuse me，Excuse me， 这很可能是没有听清楚对方的话，或者对对方的话表示难以置信。Excuse me. Excuse me. 个人意见，在中文的语境中啊，这句话翻译成“你说什么”应该更贴切。We're not done here, though. 接下来的这几种不同语调的表达就更没有抱歉或者不好意思的意思了。Let's make a little game out of it. 请大伙儿仔细听以下几种语调表达，然后在评论区给出您的翻译意见。或者给出您对每种语调背后实际意思的理解。I will personally look at and grade your answers, guys. Excuse me. Well, excuse me, but well, excuse me, but excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. What do you think? Leave your answers in the comments. Excuse me. Why can't you get a girlfriend your own age? 为什么你不能找个和你年龄相仿的女朋友？后面的剧情里有交代 ，Daddy Stevens 是律师，这态度看起来是把 Ross 当嫌犯吓唬呢。Why can't you? Can't you? 这里的字母 T 是按照 C H ch 音来处理的。Say this with me, please. Can't you? Can't you? Can't you get a get a? 这的字母 T 要用 flap T 的方式来处理。Get a? Can't you get a girlfriend your own? 我们把注意力放在 girlfriend your own 这几个词上，特别是 girlfriend 和 your 两个词的连读方式。It's pretty hard for me to find a lot of examples of girlfriend your own. 所以我给大伙找了几个 and your own 的例子。Girlfriend your own and your own 从连接上来讲，它们是一样的。首先，如果讲话追求清晰，而且速度相对比较慢，您很有可能会听到只把字母 d 去掉。而没有进一步相互影响的版本。And your own, and your own, and your own. 虽然 Mr. Stevens 语速很快，但他在这儿用的就是这种除了把 d 音去掉以外，就没有更多连接的处理方式。Girlfriend, your own. Friend, your own. Friend, your own. Friend, your own. I know what you're thinking. 
Well, at least you should be thinking. 你刚才不是说语速比较慢才会这样吗 ？Well, I stand by what I said. 绝大多数北美人把话说到这种速度的时候，确实不会用这样的处理方式。那难不成 Bruce Willis 说错了？我可不敢这么说。Bruce Willis 说啥都是对的。反正绝大多数北美人会更习惯用如下的方式来处理这两个单词。And your own. And your own. And your own. And your own. I'll tell you what's happening here. And 词尾的 d sound 被去掉以后，字母 n 所发的 n 音和下面一个单词 your 词首的 e sound 产生了连读 And your. And your own. 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 话都说到这儿了，看来另外一个完全不同的处理方式，我们也得聊聊了。Instead of getting rid of the letter D completely, they prefer to turn it into the J sound. So now it sounds like and your own, and your own, and your own, and your own. I've said it many times. I'll say it again. 单词和单词被组合在一起时，根据语速、语调、表达方式以及个人习惯的不同，它们之间产生的发音变化可能是多种多样的。Last but not least, we need to say these two words correctly as well. Own age. Own age, own age. You probably already noticed this. Own 词尾字母 n 发的 n sound 和 age 里的元音 a 之间有连读的现象 Own age, own age, own age, own age. Let's practice the whole sentence a couple of times together. Why can't you get a girlfriend your own age? Why can't you get a girlfriend your own age? Why can't you get a girlfriend your own age? Why can't you get a girlfriend your own age? <laughs> it's funny. Um, it's not funny. 说起来挺好玩，呃，其实没啥好玩。It's funny. 一般来说，用 "It's funny" 开始一个句子，这下面接的应该是好玩、有点意思、轻松愉快的事。Ross 在这儿应该不是真想和女友的老爸说他找年轻的女孩子做女朋友是个挺有意思的事儿，他就是想放松点，缓和一下尴尬的气氛。在这儿 ，"It's funny" 和 "You know what? Well, let me tell you" 功能差不多。都是用来开始一句话的口头语。At this point, he is still trying to keep the conversation casual and light, which is another mistake. Um, um, 又是一个填缝词儿。您可千万别以为这些无意义的词儿在口语表达里真的是无意义的，它们的用处可大了。I have actually made a video about these filler words a while ago. I'm gonna put a link somewhere on the screen, as well as in the description of this video. Go check it out. It's fun. Do it when you're done watching this video, though. We still have a lot of interesting stuff to talk about here. 利用填缝词，嗯，打掩护的几秒钟 ，Ross 才想明白，和正在对自己年龄不爽的年轻女友的老爸解释自己为什么不去找同龄的女友时。他需要的不是轻松幽默 ，It's funny， 而是真诚。It's not, it's not, it's not funny. It's too little, too late, though. 在语调上，我们也很容易听出区别。Listen to this bubbly tone. It's funny. 这个欢快的语调和后面秒变正经的 It's not funny 完全不一样。声调的不同，把 Ross 不知该轻松幽默好，还是该真诚恭谦好的进退失据，表达的淋漓尽致。在发音上要提醒大家注意 ，not 里的字母 t 是只需要摆姿势而不需要发出来的 stop t。Funny 词尾的字母 y 要念 e。It's funny, not funny。好，我们一起把这句话练习几遍。It's funny. It's not funny. It's funny. It's not funny. Well, that's pretty much everything I need to cover. 我们回到原文来看看现在您是不是都能听懂了。By the way， 您的点赞和评论对 YouTube 是否推荐我们的影片至关重要。如果您喜欢我的讲解 ，please give us a hand. Actually, I don't even need a hand. A thumb is good enough. And thanks for your help. Good. So, Ross, what's your problem? <laughs> Excuse me? Why can't you get a girlfriend your own age? <laughs> It's funny. Um. It's not funny. <laughs> Told you you'd be able to understand everything. 
Nothing is hard when you're learning it with Jerry.